Hello, hello. Okay, it looks like I got audio now. Can you guys hear me? Probably can't see me because it. Oh, and that's back too now. Okay, good. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. Today is September 29th, 2015. My name is Rex Harris, and as always, it's an honor and a privilege to spend some time with you here this evening. Uh, tonight, we're going to go through um, a step by step process for creating incentives that you can give away to your target audience for the purposes of building a mailing list. Uh, this is a time-tested method of marketing that makes it very simple for somebody that has reliable traffic sources to collect email addresses, build an audience, cultivate a relationship with their audience, and generate income through the recommendation of products, services, so on and so forth. So with that, actually, let me go ahead and turn this here on real quick. I'm not quite sure what happened there. It was giving me fits there in the beginning, but it looks like it fixed itself. So there's that. Okay, good. So for those of you that have not been to one of these workshops yet, uh, we have. this is actually four of uh, a four-part series on how to create a four-step cash flow system. And we started with the entire marketing process, which is available through um, our private group on Facebook. If you just do a search for AHB Tech and Mac with the little ampersand thing there, Tech and Mac, you can send a request to join our group and get access to the videos there. Uh, no charge, just our way of saying thanks to y'all for being really cool. And we want to show you guys some cool stuff. So with that, um, I'm not going to go into a real in-depth review of what we covered in the first three nights tonight because of the fact that we kind of did a review in video three last night, and I don't really want to go back and just kind of take up people's time because I know people are wanting to utilize this information and uh, get started. I know many of you have uh, already gotten uh, click funnels here, so you can do the same thing. So I want to make sure that you guys get all of the information that you need to start putting this together and making stuff happen now. So with that, let's go ahead and turn on screen sharing here real quick and we will get this party started. So, all right, in super brief review, okay? Night number one, we covered our four-step cash flow system process starting with your free high value incentive, which we're going to teach you how to build tonight, lead capture pages, which we showed you how to build on night number two, confirmation pages, which we also showed you, and then email marketing and conversion. Last night, we've also covered the three different types of traffic, which type of capture pages to use with that traffic, and the reasons why people take action as you continue to assist them with solving whatever problem it is that they want to solve. All right. So we've also gone through a extensive overview inside ClickFunnels, uh, how this works, uh, how you can build uh, pages with it. We actually, uh, night number two, built uh, a funnel all the way through, three-page funnel, uh, showed everybody the functionality of different things that they can do with the uh, systems that are in here. Okay, and then this evening, we are going to talk about creating your incentives, whatever your incentives may be. Now, to start things off, I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey here through the different tools that are available, most of them free online, that you can use to do everything from creative video to you know, put together a really nice PDF with images and the whole nine yards, all right? So let's start with the written content here, uh, the PDF, all right? Now, if we go to, oh, it looks like something's broken. 
Oh, okay. Well, that might have just been my... So I'm going to need to get in here. Please be back. <sighs> All right. Well, hopefully... Oh, wait. Are they... There we go. Okay, good. All right. So let's start with how do we create a PDF document? Well, there's several different ways that you can do it. Uh, my personal preference is Open Office. You'll see that Open Office, to look at it right here, looks very much like Microsoft Word because it is very much like Microsoft Word. Uh, minus the price tag. Uh, for those of you that do not have Microsoft Word on your computer and, you know, need to have that, you can actually go to openoffice.org, openoffice.org, and download the latest version of OpenOffice absolutely free. You can do PowerPoint presentations with this, word processing spreadsheets, almost identically to what you can do with Microsoft Office. I think I must have Microsoft Word earlier. Microsoft Office, Microsoft Word. Okay. Same basic difference. Okay. Um, except for the fact that this one costs a whole lot less money. And uh, I think I, I like it better anyway. And then at the click of a button, you actually have the ability, if you look right up here with that little PDF, I can put all the content here on this page, click PDF, and boom, I've got a PDF that I can give away to people who are subscribing to my list looking for answers to questions and solutions to problems, okay? So again, openoffice.org if you don't already have this, all right? And I do not know if this is available for both Mac, or both, uh, Mac and PC. I'm not sure. So you will have to look unless I can find it here real quick. But I know that I use it with Windows 8. It performs very well. I also have a pretty good sized computer here too. But I also run it on my laptop. And it runs a little slower on my laptop. But it's still very functional. All right. So I would say that if you've got a Windows 7 based system or higher that's got a little bit of horsepower to it, then you should be really good for running uh, Open Office. Okay. Any older computers, it might be a little sluggish for you, but it'll still work. I mean, if you're still using a Commodore 64, go buy a new computer. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> let's look at the functionality of how this works. All right. The key to creating you know, a, a, a PDF that's going to win with people is to provide for them exactly the solution that they're looking for to whatever problem it is that they need to solve. And in order to do that, you have to have firsthand knowledge of who your target audience is and what do they really want. Okay? So part of creating a fantastic incentive is to create an outline that will give you an idea of exactly who it is that your target audience, you know, is and what it is that they want. So let we start off with the PDF here. What, um, who is my target audience and what do they want? Okay. Or I might put in parentheses. Let's, let's let's change it. And which problem are they trying to solve? Let's start there. All right. I'm gonna make this bigger and prettier so you guys can see it. So I hope you guys have found these uh, last uh, handful of trainings we've done here helpful. And uh, if you're looking for you know, more in-depth insight into, you know, the fine art of generating income online, uh, 
you can uh, use the form right there on the bottom right hand side if you're watching this on our hangout page right now create your free account and take the academy for a spin and see if it's right for you okay so who is my target audience and which problem are they trying to solve right well Let's, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to use this because I always use it just because it's really easy to paint a picture with this, okay? So, target audience, okay? Weight loss. Okay? And we, if we've got time, we'll even maybe do a couple of these here for a couple different target audiences. So, you guys can see that, you know, outside of, you know, who they are, how to market to them online is pretty much the same across the board mechanically. Okay, so we're going to start with a target audience of weight loss. Okay, what problem is my audience trying to solve? Okay, <laughs> um, you know, I might even say, what do they want here? Either way, I mean, either way it works, you know, and obviously the answer is simple, okay? Lose weight, okay? Reshape body um, at healthy at fit. Okay, what else, you know? What problem is my audience trying to solve? What do they want if they're in weight loss? Well, maybe they just want to lose weight. They want to reshape their body. They want to get healthy. They want to get fit. They want to find a mate slash partner. Okay. How many people in weight loss take that into consideration when you're putting together your marketing tools? If you're really taking the time to identify what is it that my audience really wants, then you're going to go into those details, especially when you legitimately care about them, and you're going to find out exactly, you know, what's at the heart of the matter for them because that's where you're going to reach them, okay? And what, you know, how do we determine all of this? That's, that's a fan, that's the million-dollar question right there. How do we determine all of this? All right, we'll just use that right there. This is where making a qualified business decision when you are especially in the early stages of maybe looking for a way to make money online. You have to be very smart here about the business that you choose. Very smart. Because it, it's entirely possible, okay, that the business you choose may be the determining factor in which target audience you have to choose. Now, what do I mean by that? Please forgive my typing there. I was just like third grade level typing. It's really very simple. All right, when you when you think about it, when somebody breaks it down for you and kind of shows you the mechanics and the insights into creating content. And this applies to your blog post, it applies to your autoresponder messages, it applies to content, it applies to everything that you're going to create. Because one of the mistakes I've seen many people make, and it's not always a mistake, 
But most of the time, especially when it comes to a network marketing based business opportunity, people get involved in a business first and then try to put all of this together. Now, if you're absolutely 100% passionate about weight loss and helping people in that regard, beautiful, then this is perfect. But what happens so many times is people get into something and they, this might not be for me. Maybe it's not holding my interest. Maybe I don't understand it. Maybe for whatever reason, this just isn't a fit for me. Now what? You've got one of two options. You can quit or you're stuck trying to make all of this work. Okay. Good luck putting your heart into something and getting conversion that you are not connected with at a spiritual level based on the purpose for your life. I will tell you after years of experience, it's brutal. All right. It's brutal. I've been there and it's not fun. But regardless, I mean, if you're in a business and you say, you know what, Rex, I got into this thing and, you know, I'm going to build it, whatever it takes, fantastic, right? Then this, you know, it's for any of you anyway, but the point being that don't get yourself pinned in a corner with something that you don't really want because then learning all of this stuff is going to feel tedious it's going to feel like you have to do it. It's going to start feeling like a job. And when this starts feeling like a job, it's, you know, I've also experienced that. It's not fun either. Okay. So determining all of this, you know, is, you know, put some thought into you know what you really want to do what you know what's what do you connect with at the heart level okay who do you have compassion for okay these elements right here are going to make for a much greater experience doing what you do on the internet because the truth of the matter is that the mechanics are all the same, but I'm here to tell you when you're not doing what it is that you really love, doing you know the mechanical part isn't a lot of fun. It's just not. But when you're connected with your purpose and you know what you're doing and you know where you're going and you know exactly what it is that you know you've been put on this planet to do, that's when things get exciting. And that is where it's so important, again, to make sure that you're making good quality business decisions when you are looking at any opportunity or you know any product that you may sell or any audience that you may choose. Why would you choose an audience to target you know, in the world of rock climbing if what you really like to do is fish? Why would you choose a business opportunity in weight loss or health and nutrition when you are nuts about coffee? You go to coffee shops, you have coffee outings with your friends, you wake up drinking coffee. If you're like my wife, you go to bed drinking coffee or get up in the middle of the night drinking coffee. If you're my wife, I mean, you know, why not just do what it is that you enjoy doing. Now, I understand in the world of network marketing, as far as choosing a business that connects with your purpose, that can be a challenge because there's not necessarily a match for all of that out there. You might have a purpose as, well, you know what, Rex, if I could do it every day, I would get up, I would play 18 holes of golf, I would live golf, sleep golf, drink golf, whatever, okay? There might not be a business opportunity out there 
for golf, but okay, there is a way to make money with it through affiliate marketing and Google AdSense and all sorts of other ways that you can monetize a presence on the internet and make money. And as long as you know how to create good quality incentives, you're going to be able to bring people into your world online, so to speak, and begin to form a relationship with them that will give them enough confidence in what you've shared with them just through goodwill to make a purchase from you. And then they make another purchase from you that may be a little bit bigger. And now they've had two quality experiences making a purchase from you and you have an offering for something that's larger ticket or a business opportunity, guess what? Okay. Now, okay, I've taken my love for golf. I've built a presence online around it based on, you know, a little three-part video series that I created, you know, <clears throat> maybe with a little putting exercise or something. I don't know. And I've given that to them up front. I've given them more stuff in my system, gave them some more videos, um, maybe just shared some information. Uh, on it. Maybe I was watching Golf Channel and got an idea for a blog post. So I went to YouTube you know, or got a, we found a way to embed that video and build a blog post around it, however it is that I'm building online. People are staying active on my list. They're going to my blog. They're looking at these videos I've created for them. They're starting to like me, starting to trust me, and I find a cool product on Amazon, like a golf range finder or something that I can earn a few bucks on. <laughs> Nothing too expensive. Or maybe I find something, you know, just a cool little golfer's tool to have somewhere seven to seventeen dollars that I begin to incorporate into my list through a video I shot. Well, maybe I'm out golfing and stuff like that. And I don't know if you guys have got this or not, but you know, this I've, I use this, you know, this divot repair tool because it, you know, because it actually lifts the grass a little bit above higher and sets it back in more flat or whatever, whatever your pitch is. Okay, but there you've got your little introductory product. People make that purchase. They use it. They're thinking, wow, this is pretty cool. And, you know, I tried that little putting exercise the other day. You know, I went out golf and I showed, I, you know, shaved three strokes off my game. And then the next thing you do is you release a new video on the importance of health and nutrition or the importance of fitness and improving your golf game. And you do like, you know, a little video series where, you show three different age groups, you know, some exercises that they can do to maybe strengthen their back if they're seniors or, you know, work on their posture or, I mean, maybe if they're younger, even getting into it. I mean, what, you know, a little bit of cardiovascular exercise, upper body strengthening, whatever it is that you're going to do. All right. Now, when you have all of that put together, Now you can show them a business opportunity that has a health or nutritional product attached to it that you're using. And since you started using that product, you've noticed more energy. You, you've actually noticed that you've, you've, been, you've had more flexibility. You've been hitting the ball farther. Okay, guys, that's marketing. That's what marketing is. Think of marketing online as a long series of the, you know, the food vendors. Like, you know, your, your aunt and your grandma go out and, and work at the store as a food vendor where they cook samples and stuff. So think of marketing, like you walk into the grocery store and let's say there was a line of 15 food vendors. And at the, the, the last vendor, had a full pizza, and the first vendor had one of the components in the pizza. Okay, you're hungry, so you begin to go through the line, and maybe they give you a sample of the pepperoni, and then they give you a sample of the sauce, and a sample of the veggies that are on there, and a sample of the 
the other meat that you put on there, the sausage or the bacon or whatever, and uh, a sample of the spices and everything else. And then you get into where you get a slice and then boom, there's the whole pizza. Okay. Think about that when it comes to marketing, because that's really all we're doing. You just have to have a way to put the components in place to make it work on the internet. And most people don't know this stuff. And I understand that there's quite a bit to it, right? But, you know, what are you going to do? You're either going to hire this done, you're going to learn how to do it yourself, or you're going to JV with somebody that knows how to do it. But if you're going to JV with somebody that knows how to do all this stuff, you better have something to bring to the table. You better have some skin to put in the game, or you better have some other skills that are going to be just as beneficial or some business connections. I mean, there's all sorts of way to go about getting this stuff done. But the point is, it's got to be done. Everything I've talked about here tonight, all of this stuff is required if you plan to build a presence online that's going to generate residual income for you month after month after month. Okay. The process is really very simple and learning the mechanics isn't that hard either. The biggest challenge with this is just time to do everything, you know, so you're going to have to plan your time. I have to plan my time with the business stuff. I have to plan my time with the ministry stuff. I have to plan my time with my family. Okay. So that way I have time to do that stuff. And then first and foremost, you know, my personal time with God, you know, for through prayer, meditation, and Bible study, you know, throughout the week. Okay. All of that stuff is planned in to my routine. Has to be that way. Because that way you always have time in any given day to get stuff done. Even if you only have a half an hour at night, you're working 12 hours a day, six days a week, you got the kids, you got this, you got that, you got everything else going, but you can find a way to squeeze out a half an hour, then that half an hour needs to be planned and you need to know what you need, you know, you need to know what you need to be doing with those 30 minutes every day to move forward with where you want to be. And so many people, they get involved in a business and they want to go out and just start blasting that business everywhere and make money. And I'm just here to tell you guys that it doesn't work like that. You know, I mean, if you want to make money in network marketing right out of the gates, my best advice to you would be to pick up the phone straight up. Have a good auto dialer, have that thing loaded with a bunch of leads. And just dial, 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 connect, dial, connect, dial, connect. Some will, some won't next. Okay. That's not for everybody. Here's the upside of doing this. Here's the upside of learning how to build your own system. Is it the fact when you get this thing built and you have that audience flowing through that, through traffic in the social media, maybe some paid traffic options, whatever it is that you've got running for traffic. Okay, now you've got a machine online that's going to be generating revenue for you because you've basically learned how to clone yourself and just put your heart out here on the on the internet. And then once you have that managed set up and in place, it requires maybe one or two hours of your week to connect with your audience in real time, live on a hangout or something like this to let them know, hey, that you're a legitimate person, that you're here to be of service, and that, you know, this is what I do, follow it, and, you know, perhaps you can do it too. I can't guarantee that you're going to learn this. I can't guarantee that you're going to learn how to build it. I can't guarantee that you're going to learn how to PD create PDFs or learn how to create videos. Can't guarantee that you're going to do any of the work at all. Okay, there are no guarantees with this. You want a guarantee, follow the process and do the work. And even then, if you don't do the work right, there's no guarantees. If you don't say the right things, there's no guarantees. If you try to take shortcuts, there's no guarantees. There's a process that when you follow it, it works. And there are times where people come to our workspace, they get the process, they go right in, they implement, and they make money quickly. Other people, it takes them time to learn and implement. Some people build the system out and there was an element in the system that was not right and it didn't convert. Maybe they got a bunch of subscribers, but nobody bought anything. Okay, well, that's a problem with either one of two things.
okay? The leads or the offer. That's where the problem is. And in many cases, it's the leads, okay? But it's also, in many cases, the system, the presentation, the offering, the goodwill more than anything. You know, and really, I mean, you can just keep this stuff simple. I mean, you see, I've done nothing fancy here tonight here. Okay. Yet here I've got a document that I'm already putting together that by the time it's done, I could put together in a PDF, put it behind a marketing system and collect email addresses with it. Even if I never did anything more than just put good quality content here in black and white and spaced it out. So it's easy for people to read. You'll notice that when I'm creating content here, I'm not stacking seven or eight line paragraphs on top of one another. I'm keeping it flowing. I'm keeping it moving. I'm giving it to people in chunks. Okay. Highlighting what needs to be highlighted, calling out what needs to be called out. Okay. So very important that you put thought into what it is that you really want to do. Okay. So let's start getting into some mechanics here. Let me show you how simple it is to put together a basic PDF that you can utilize to give away for free. And if any of you are having the thought process right now, can I use PLR content for this? My answer to you is you can, but good luck finding PLR content out there that nobody else has used, all right? And also consider this, all right? What goes around comes around, and you reap what you sow. And if you're, if you're going to try to take the lazy approach to doing this and not put your heart into it, don't think that you're going to get results because in most cases you won't. A lot of conversion just comes because people put their heart out there. The documentation, the, the content, the images, they're not always perfect, okay, because a lot of people look, pack the, look past the imperfections in content and images and videos and everything else, and they see the genuine desire of that person's heart to be of service to them, okay? The Bible says or the Bible calls that letting your light shine. Okay. So in Open Office Writer, you there's a ton of buttons here. All right. And you might think I, you know, it might think it might be challenging to learn this stuff. Okay. But as I showed you here, as I've been demonstrating as I've gone along this evening, all I've done is change the font style and the font size here, spaced it out and bolded a few things to give this an appearance that's that's legible for people who are watching this video. That's it. The other thing that's beneficial to know how to do with this or Microsoft Office or whatever it is that you're doing is knowing how to put images in a PDF and knowing which images that you can and can't use. All right. So let's go over to Google. And we are going to type in weight loss before and after. All right. Now you might think that if I'm putting together a weight loss picture, I could just come over here and use any of this that I wanted to use. Okay. Not the case. If I want to use anything from Google image-wise in a document that I'm creating, I have to use images that it's okay for me to use. So if I go to search tools and then I go to usage rights, you'll see where I have images that are not filtered by license, that are labeled for reuse with modification, labeled for reuse overall, or labeled for non-commercial reuse, or non-commercial reuse for mod with modification. If it is the intention to generate a sale in your marketing system with 
the content that you are using, then you will have to choose from labeled for reuse with modification, which means that you could actually modify the image, make a meme out of it, or I could just one that's used for label for reuse as is. So I just look for something on here that might fall under the category of, of weight loss before and after. And as you can see, when I start getting into here, you can see where, where my options become limited. All right. But usually I can find some stuff in here and let me see labeled for reuse with modification. Here's a weight loss before and after picture right here. That's that I could use. Okay. So let's say I find an image I want to use. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to and then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder for whatever project that, I, you know, uh, weight loss, you know, weight loss, whatever it is, weight loss, you know, blog, weight loss, business, whatever that you've got there. Okay. And then I double click on that and then I just save the image here. So I have a reference for that image. Okay, it's really very simple. And then I can easily, like if I wanted that image at the top, I can go to insert picture from file back to the weight loss blog folder I just created, grab my image, open it, and there it is, okay? And it's actually huge, so I can just use the drop-down buttons here to make them look like super skinny, okay? But I mean, you guys get the general idea here, okay? It's that simple to add images to a PDF. And if long, as long as you can learn how to add images and create written content here, you have the skills you need to create a PDF that you can give away. Is it going to be like a super fancy PDF? No, but it's enough for you to get started putting something together that you can utilize to start collecting email addresses, okay, with just basic functionality, all right? knowing how to choose different fonts, knowing how to make those fonts a different size, knowing how to bold italicize or underline stuff that you want to bold italicize or underline. All right, if you want to get real fancy, knowing how to change the font color, knowing how to add an image, and you have the basic skills that you need to create a PDF. The only thing else that you need to know how to do is to create what's called a hyperlink. And creating a hyperlink is as simple as choosing which text that you want to make clickable and then going up here and you see this little globe with a link in it and it's pretty universal in most software applications it's going to be very similar to that or maybe just a chain link if i click on that i can put the web address where i want someone to go when they click that link right here okay down here it already has pulled up the text i want a hyperlink then i click apply close and now I have a link right there. These are the basic skills it needs, or the, <laughs> these are the basic skills you need to do this. All right. As far as creating content is concerned, there's all sorts of cool ways that you can create content. All right. How to create content slash cool, you know, cool ideas for, and we'll say weight loss again, right? 
you know, I'm not trying to subliminally program you guys with weight loss in case you were wondering as you listen to the sound of my voice. <laughs> oh, things that make you go, hmm. Okay. So, my options for creating content, as we talked about earlier, are really very simple. Okay. Written. or video content creation are really the two fastest ways for you to learn to create incentives that you can give away you know as you develop your skills on a whim regardless of the type of content that you are creating the easiest way for you to structure content you know like a PDF um, blog post uh, 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 let me see, uh, Aweber broadcast or um, follow-up message. All right, number one, you always want to start. with a story of shared experience that will connect you with the person reading your content. <clears throat> That's why I'm a huge proponent of people that are getting involved in a weight loss business opportunity, being overweight when they do it. So they have a success story to share with people. If you don't, if you know, you're know you spending four hours a day in the gym and you're a fitness trainer and you've got muscles like you know, Tony Atlas or Arnold Schwarzenegger or whoever, you know, and you're just passionate about helping people get to that stage, okay, well then obviously you could use somebody else's story. But either way, you wanna start with a, a story of shared uh, of shared experience that will connect you with the person reading your content. <clears throat> Obviously, the easiest story to create is your own. Okay. And if you don't have your own, then, you know, if you don't have your own, get permission to use the story of someone who your target audience will relate with. Because okay, that's really the key on the front end to make that connection. That's why your weight loss story, if we're doing weight loss, would be, you know, considerably better than somebody else's story because a person that's generally looking for weight loss is is at their heavy stage and if I've been at my heavy stage and have gotten down to where I've lost like 50, 60 pounds and can demonstrate to them and they can see that it's me, it makes a whole different impact, okay? Unless I was gonna maybe use the story of a family member or friend who I was close to whose health problems were attributed to their weight loss and perhaps through whatever it was that, they used to lose that weight, they were able to overcome, you know, a condition such as diabetes or something like that. 
that would be another great story that's going to help people connect. All right. I don't recommend vanity stories. I really don't recommend vanity stories. Okay. You might hear other people out there talking about vanity stories. Um, and, and call it something politically correct, like attraction marketing. Okay. I don't recommend that. Most of the people that utilize what's known as attraction marketing now find that the majority of the people that get into business with them never do anything with it at all because it's all about the glitz. It's all about the glitter. It's all about being with the in crowd and being with the cool kids and all of this stuff. All right. And for some people, it works. It's not for me. It's never been for me. It never will be for me. Okay. I'm a simple guy that enjoys time at home with my grandkids. I've got a great house. I've got a cool car. I've got all sorts of great stuff that, you know, I've been blessed with. I'm good with that. All right. Where my heart is engaged is when I'm doing like what I'm doing right now, sharing this stuff with you guys. All right. People connect with that. They relate with that. It's very hard for people to connect with and relate with pictures of a Ferrari and monster wads of cash when they don't have any of that stuff. Okay. Now, if you're targeting people that already have that stuff, okay, a little different story, but that's not what we're talking about here. Okay. We're talking about the development of a weight loss based business. All right. Or the same thing can be applied to anything else. All right. I talked about this in the last video too. Okay. Using you and I in your content is key in making a connection as well. And it's something that you should just get in the habit of doing when you're writing, okay? Because if you're relating to an audience that's got a problem, and let me give you an example. If, I'm, if I am 80 pounds overweight, okay, I can relate with a person who's, you know, 80 pounds overweight, probably down to, I mean, probably down to people that are 20 to 30 overweight and, and, you know, maybe people that are as much as 150 pounds overweight. So if I'm there with the basic core message of I did it, you can do it too. Okay. Using things like you and I is a great way to connect because they say, you know, because I mean, you and I both know from if I, if my target is on, my target audience is on, I can say things like you and I both know how hard it is to bend over and tie our shoes in the morning because we can't get past our gut. <laughs> Just as an example, I figured instead of doing something heartbreaking, I would do something funny. All right. Because I've been there. I've been, I was, a, I, at one point in time in my life, I was so big I could barely, but I don't, I think it was actually a point in time where I couldn't tie my shoes and that's when I went to slip-ons for a while. Fortunately, I can bend over and tie my shoes now. Okay, that was a long time ago when I was that big, but I've been there. All right, so that you and I incorporation into your content is going to be key in making that connection with a potential member of your team if you're building a business opportunity or a potential customer if you're selling weight loss products or services or or even consulting or coaching, okay? This is huge when it comes to creating your content. It's not that hard to do, you know? If you just start with, you know, 
a story of shared experience that that person is probably experiencing somewhere in their emotional state when they're reading it. You know, things like, I'll never forget the morning that, you know, I woke up out of bed and couldn't breathe. Guess what? You got somebody's attention right there. You know, I was 80 pounds overweight. Felt like I had, you know, felt, you know, just felt like I got no sleep at all and was so exhausted I could hardly move. Man, I've been there. I know what that's like. You know, then you continue on with the story a little bit, you know, after you know, after visiting the doctor, I realized that, you know, I had developed sleep apnea. And that was part of the reason why I was waking up all night long. And part of the reason why I felt like I was suffocating when I woke up in the morning. Boom. Now, now you're being real with people. Okay. That's a very defined target audience, but nonetheless, okay. If you're a good marketer, you're going to go out there, going to find those people. Because those people are looking for a solution to a problem. And sometimes the only solution they're looking for is just someone to go on the journey with them. You don't understand, I don't think. At least most people don't. That was kind of presumptive. And I apologize for that. Let me rephrase that. I believe, <laughs> I believe that most people are not aware just how intense that desire to be connected with somebody and and go on a journey with them is. The challenge is on the exact opposite side. There's all this fear that keeps telling them, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. That person's going to hurt you. Okay. I don't think people can really appreciate that state of mind. Not everybody. A lot of people can. But that's, you know, again, when you're creating content, you know, put yourself in somebody else's shoes, especially if you've been in them before. And it's going to show in the content that you create. Okay. So very simple, basic techniques that you can utilize here tonight. Okay. What time is it here? All right. I want to do a few more minutes on this and then we're going to move on. One more thing I want to talk about. Okay. Ideas for weight loss incentives. Okay. And again, these can apply to anything. All right. I gave this out the other night, but I'm actually going to give it out again because I really, you know, I think if somebody were to use this, it would be very beneficial. Say you just got involved in a weight loss based business opportunity. And you have a product that could help people lose, let's say, an additional two pounds a week. And you know that there's people out there already trying to lose weight, use different products and stuff like that. And you know that those people who are working to lose weight want to lose more weight faster. Okay, I, I don't think if you ask too many people that are, in the weight loss process. Hey, you know, do you, you know, are you really happy with how slow this is going? Yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm just taking my time. You know, it'll come off when it comes off. There's a handful of them out there. Okay. I'm one of them. Okay. But I know that back in the day when I was like younger and wanted to, you know, fresh out open heart surgery and go out there and, you know, prove everybody wrong. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was completely different. That was a long time ago, you know, now it's like, you know, I'm eating healthy, I'm getting out exercise, and I'm not killing myself at the gym. You know, I know that doing what I'm doing is going to get me the result that I want. If I get there in 90 days, great. If I get there in six months, great. I'm not in any hurry. All right. The only thing I'm really focusing on more than anything is getting healthy. Okay. So I'm here for the long haul for my kids, my grandkids, my family, and my purpose. Okay. When my intention goes down, I want to make sure I'm alive on this planet to see it.
because I know what my intention is. I visualize it. I see it already there. I just want to make sure I'm here when it happens. Okay. <clears throat> That's why, you know, I've been, get, you know, eating healthy and getting exercise again and stuff like that. I went down to the track this afternoon, walked some laps, did some steps, felt great. You know, I didn't kill myself, but, you know, I went out there. I did enough where I could burn some calories, you know, and get the blood flowing and get my body, you know, in motion. All right. So knowing that most people want to lose weight faster than slower, one of the things that I could do is I could find a fitness trainer or a, you know, maybe a, a nutritionist. I think that's what they're called or a, a nutritional, what are they? Oh, nutritionist. There we go. Find a fitness trainer or, or nutritionist that would be willing to swap some of their time in trade for referral business if they would shoot a couple of, you know, fitness tips or, you know, diet tips based videos. Okay. And there's your incentive right there. Find a fitness trainer that, you know, if you were to go to a fitness trainer and say, okay, hey, I, I've, I've got uh, I've got a weight loss based business opportunity. I'm going to be building it online and I'm, I'm putting together a, a free high value goodwill incentive uh, to give away to start building my mailing list using the internet. Okay. Now, as you're a fitness trainer here in my hometown, okay, or maybe it's a fitness trainer that has products online, which would be even better because that way they don't even have to be local to you. You might even find somebody in another state that would get on a Google Hangout for you, and you could use that. You know, you're going to get out of it what you put into it. You know, I don't teach shortcuts. I used to do that. I don't do it anymore. You know, we made the decision uh, with the academy that we are going to offer people quality training that will get you a result. Teaching you shortcuts is not giving you a quality training that's going to give you a result. What we've shared with you these last four nights, if you go out and apply it, will get you a result, okay? And if you continue to apply it, it will get you a monetary result. <clears throat> okay, so that's just that's that's one idea right there that you could take and run with tonight. Say, you know what, man, that would be a good idea. I got a friend that's a fitness trainer. Let me give her a call and say, hey, you know, you got enough clients right now? No. Well, would you like it? Would you like to add how many more clients would you like to add per month? Well, I'd like to add another two or three clients right now. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what I need to do. Uh, I need to do a quick little series of three videos where I'm giving people just some basic exercises that they can use to get their, to increase their metabolism and get their body burning more every day, you know, for the purposes of losing weight. Oh, yeah, sure. I'd be happy to do that. Boom. You take your camera, your phone down there, whatever. If you don't have a camera, you go rent one or you borrow one from your Uncle Larry or your Aunt Sue or whoever has one. And you go down and you shoot these videos. All right. And you put them on your computer. You render them down with some software that I'm going to demonstrate to you here this evening and the last 30 minutes of our workshop here. And you put together something nice that people can download. Okay, that gives them some real value that they can go out and they can take that three-step video series and go out and apply the exercises and, and diet plan that they put in that thing over a two-week period and lose, you know, three to five pounds. Well, guess what? Now you've got something. Now you've got something versus this constant need to just cram stuff down people's throats. I mean, do you, do you want, you, you know, you want a marketing system that's going to make you money over some time so you don't have to work as much <clears throat> or do you want to continue to go out there and, and fight the greasy wheel 
running like a hamster going backwards, like most people are. You know? It's like everybody wants to be in business, but they don't want to use the business sense. They want the shortcuts. They want to learn the 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 mind voodoo and the brain tricks and the and the and and all this stuff to you know hypnotize people and trance people and and all the different things that they do out there. You know, everybody wants the shortcuts. I want to learn the secret so I can just stand in my backyard and and say, I am great, and I am good, and I am all these things, and money flows to me easily and effortlessly, okay? I've been down that road. I've used that stuff, all right? And I'm here to tell you that when that stuff is not coming from a place of right intention, it does not work. You can say it until the cows come home. You can think that you're a millionaire until you're you're so broke you can't afford to pay attention, all right? But unless that creative force inside of you is given the ability to do what it was created to do, forget it. Because just like the Bible, <clears throat> the Bible teaches, man, I've got to find a way to, <clears throat> maybe I need to get some coconut water or something when I'm doing these. But even the Bible says it, faith without action is dead. You know, you can talk it, you can speak it, you can dance around and do a jig and meditate until you melt into the floor. But if you're not taking action, forget it, All right? And if you're not speaking life in such a way that just being real with you glorifies God, glorifies our Heavenly Father, you know, you're just pl you're just playing with a bag of tricks. Okay, and it may work and it may not work, but there's going to come a point in time where everything that we do is going to be tested and what you've built is either going to stand or it's going to fall. All right, and that's that's the way life goes. And you can look at countless entrepreneurs over the years that in recent years that have experienced exactly that. Okay? Great heights of success, massive falls. Happens in MLM all the time. Boom, 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 crash. Okay? Why? Well, there's no foundation. All right? And that foundation is key. All right? So, PDF stuff, pretty simple. Microsoft Office, Open Office um, through openoffice.org. You know, put some images in here, put some content in here. Come in here, learn how to use this thing and start putting something together that's going to be of value to people. Start putting together a plan and an outline for what you're going to do. <clears throat> All right, so let's talk about video. Which software can we use to create video? Well, depending on... Hold on for just a second. One piece of software that a lot of people have for making videos that they don't realize they have, depending on the version of Windows that they have, is something called Windows Movie Maker. If you have Windows Movie Maker, you actually have a way to make videos and you don't even know it. You have a way to produce videos. Granted, depending on how new a version you have, it's not necessarily very easy to use. And I don't teach it. But what I do teach is very similar to the older version of Movie Maker, which I think was one of the coolest pieces of software that Microsoft ever put out. And they just totally destroyed it. Kind of like they did with everything. So... <clears throat> Just saying. What are your options? Well, recording video is easy. Video can be recorded through a mobile phone. Video can be recorded through a video camera. Video can be recorded through, you know, screen capture. Okay. All sorts of different ways to get video. 
One of the tools that we talk about, you've probably heard it in our other videos if you've seen any of them before, is a little tool called Jing. And what Jing gives you the ability to do is to capture images and video online by simply choosing where you want to start and dragging and dropping to where you want to stop, letting go of your mouse, and then choosing, do I want to capture the image or do I want to capture video? And if I want to capture video, all I have to do is click this little button right here. Microphone's already on in my computer. And now I'm actively capturing video here using this piece of software. So when I'm done, okay, I click stop. Okay. <clears throat> and then Jing is going to give me a preview that I can watch right here. Okay, now I could save the video file. Okay, we'll just call this, we'll create a new folder. New folder, uh, basic video creation. Okay, we'll put it in there. All right, it actually saved it as an SWF file, and I don't have the chance, to, don't have the option to change that. So I'll see what I can do with that. At least I don't have the option to change it right there. All right. But I'll just save it in there. Click Save. And there I have a video file in there. Now, depending on the piece of software that I'm using, and in this case, primarily what I'm all I'm using now is Camtasia 8. I have AVS Video Editor 5.2, which is also a good piece of software, but you better have a computer that... <clears throat> runs on turbo if you want to run it. Camtasia is a lot easier. It's a lot lighter. Not quite as, you're not going to do, I mean, you can do, you can still do a lot of cool stuff in here. But uh, Camtasia Studio is, is my personal favorite because I can record the screen. I can render all of my videos down in here. You know, makes life pretty simple. But like in this case here, I can go over here now and then I can import that, that, I just recorded, and I think I put it in here. Basic video creation, and hopefully I'll be able to bring it in here just like this. Boom. I'm going to set this here for YouTube and screencast, and just like that, I can bring any video clip that I make online into this and then you know same as anything else just drag and size it and refit it to what it is that I want right there and I'm on my way to creating videos <clears throat> okay AVS video editor 5 and you can look for different video editors I recommend Camtasia if, if you're a serious marketer and you really want to do good quality videos for people, uh, put some, you know, production to them, you know, give you the opportunity to screen share, highlight, you know, zoom and pan the whole nine yards, invest the money in getting Camtasia. I think you can go to TechSmith and get a free, fully functional download of Camtasia for 30 days. So you definitely could try it before you buy it. All right. AVS video editor, okay, about 50 bucks, but it doesn't give you the, uh, the ability to record the screen, you know, zoom and pan, but it does have some other features too, okay? But again, there's all sorts of different video editors out there. Shop around, find one that's in your price range. <clears throat> Maybe if you can find a cool one for free or, you know, you want to dig in and learn how to use Windows Movie Maker on your computer, you can do that too. But you can see very basic functionality here. Simple, basic, same basic thing as the last one. Where if I go to the same folder again. Okay. There is my AVI file right there. Bring it in. Boom. And now, I'm okay. 
<clears throat> the audio quality I have noticed when capturing video from Jing when I bring it into AVS Video Editor 5 is usually scratchy and garbled. Okay. But this is the difference between a $50 piece of software and a $350 piece of software. Okay. So quality does matter. Now, I've used AVS Video Editor for a lot of things, and I still do from time to time. But for the most part, Camtasia is the way to go. And I'm, I'm curious. Let's go look and see if they still have that. www.techsmith.com. Uh, let me see. Products, Snagit, Camtasia, free trial right there. Okay, try Camtasia free for 30 days. Okay, just create a TechSmith account. Boom, you're good to go. 30 full days of that software right there. Somebody that's ambitious could take that 30 days, create enough videos to go out there and probably make enough money to pay for that software in a month's time. But that would take somebody that's super ambitious to do that. That's not something that you're just going to do in an hour a day. Okay. But nonetheless, you know, this is what, this is what we do. These are the tools that we use. <clears throat> and the key in all of this, whether you're creating video or whether you're creating PDFs, whatever it is that you're doing, again, is going to be connecting with your audience. All right. There's other ways to do video too. You can just fire up and do a Google Hangout. Record it, even if nobody's watching. Through live broadcast, when it's done, it's recorded, boom. You can share your screen in there, do training videos right through you know, YouTube, and we have a full training video already inside the Academy of Home Business on exactly how to do that in the tech and mech section. Cool? All right, let me jump over here and see if anybody's got any questions. Uh, Real Player. Um, I don't use Real Player, so I have no idea. None. So I don't know. I know real player to me, I thought was just an audio player. I didn't realize that it had, if it had any video editing skills. Okay. I don't see any other questions or anything like that right now. So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up want to uh, thank everybody for coming out and spending some time here this evening. I know we've covered a lot of this stuff before, but it's so important that people learn it, that we're going <clears> to <throat> put this together so people have access to it. Well, I know we're coming up on the 9 o'clock hour, and it is Tuesday, which means, is it today Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. Sometimes I lose track. But at least I remembered to be here at the right time. So um, I know you guys have got stuff to probably get to here tonight with business opportunities and meetings and conference calls and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. And um, I will do a uh, – I'll, I'll put up an update here, notice here in the next day or so, and we'll do just a workshop that's dedicated specifically to people – who want to learn the video stuff because I mean, we got 15 minutes left tonight and we're just getting into video and there's no possible way I'm going to teach you guys all that stuff in 15 minutes. But if you've already got those tools, or I mean, if you just, I, I, I work on a lot of video all the time. So if you ever want to just, you know, hang out, watch me do screen sharing, how I do video and stuff like that, that's cool. Just uh, if I'm in work mode and you're, you want to watch over my shoulder, um, I'm usually jamming working. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, Mr. Gabby while I'm working drives my wife nuts too. I'm like, I work, I'm like, you know, 
everything else is shut out and I'm working, but you know, you ever want to watch over my shoulder while I'm working you guys know where to find me. So, um, I'm going to go grab some dinner. You guys have a great night and we will. Oh, today's Tuesday. So we will see you again next Monday night, which is October 5th, where we have a commitment from our friend and uh, local uh, ethical marketing expert. Ernie Pennard will be here for Monday Mindset when we return to that next week. So um, you guys will want to be here for that. Ernie's a great guy and he brings a lot of, a lot of knowledge and wisdom to the table, you know, like many of us, much of which is beyond his years, but you know, we all go through stuff. So uh, that'll be exciting. So with that, you guys have a great night. God bless you. If you got any questions about this stuff again, you know where to find me. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.